guys, so as you can probably tell by the title of this video, this video is going to kind of demonstrating and showing you guys how I overdraw my lips. This has nothing to do with this whole Kylie Jenner lip trend. I mean, I have really no clue who this bitch is anyway, but all I know is she's starting this crazy trend and people have been sucking on cups to like explode their lips and doing crazy stupid shit. But um, anyway, and I've looked at the girl and she 100% I think anyway has lip injections. So anyway, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a way to kind of naturally Overdraw your lips in the safest way possible. Don't be doing any crazy crap. I mean, there's makeup. Do it with makeup. You don't need to do anything invasive. So, um, if this has nothing to do with her, I've been overdrawing my lips for quite some time now. Um, so, um, you guys have been asking like what I used to do it and everything. So, pretty much the trick is a lip liner. And um, if you have a lip liner, then you can pretty much do anything. So um, I will be showing you guys um, three different lips, lip options in this video. I'm showing you guys um, my nude lip option. I'll be showing you guys a dark lip option and a bright lip option, which is what I'm wearing right now, just because I didn't want to change my lipstick. Um, so yeah, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so if you guys want to see how to overdraw your lips and stuff like that, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first lip option that I'm going to show you guys is of course a nude. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I'm going to be doing three lip options. I'm going to be doing the classic nude um, lip option. I'm going to be doing a deep dark colored purple lip option just so it works to show you how you can overdraw with any dark lip color and with a bright lip color and I'm going to be using a pink. Um, it's pretty much all relatively the same, but I just thought I'd go through all of them with you guys so you kind of 100% know. So, of course, nude is going to be the most natural looking and it's going to that's going to be the shade that's going to make your look, lips look the largest. Um, so all I say you really need for this is lip liners. I literally only have two lip liners and these work for every single lip color. I recommend that you have a deepish nude lip liner and I recommend that you have a purpley um, fuchsia color lip liner. You can get, of course, different lip liners for every single lip option, but with this dark fuchsia lip liner, like that's a, it's a mix between a purple and a pink, it works with literally any bright color and it works with um, any deep color. So this works for all pinks and all purples, whereas the darker nude works for nude lips, it works for orange, like light, light orange lips and etc. stuff like that. So of course, the first option I'm gonna show you is nude. And I thought I would show you kind of my favorite nude lip options. All the lipsticks that I will be using are relatively matte. I have one liquid to matte lipstick and the other two are just matte lipsticks. Um, of course the matte lipsticks are still kind of creamy but I recommend using more so mattes because if you use a real high shine um, lipstick um, it's more inclined to bleed into either skin crevices especially when you overdraw your lips. So the safest option if you're going to be going out during the day with overdrawn lips and everything you're better off using a matte lipstick or a liquid to matte lipstick. So I thought I would show you some of the nudes that I like to use personally. The lip liner that I always use is the Berry M lip liner in 01 M3. You guys have probably seen this in a hundred million tutorials that I've done. It's literally just a dark nude brown lip liner as you can see. And this works with, like I said, every nude lip option. So these are my favorite kind of nude lips to wear. This will literally work with any shade of nude for any skin tone. So one of my favorites is Myth by MAC, which is a really really pale nude lipstick as you can see um, this only really works for people with a very light skin tone otherwise it's it's a very very pale I'm dead looking nude but I absolutely love this lipstick I'll kind of swatch it for you guys it's a super creamy light super light nude and I really love using um, myth by Mac and I really love kind of sexy this is more of a darker pink beige kind of nude this is for um, those of you guys that like that kind of brown tinted um, nude. Um, kind of sexy though on people with a uh, darker skin tone than me. Um, this will look um, like a nude, a true nude for your skin tone. But if you have a skin tone like me where you're very fair, it's a very brown based nude. So this is for those days where I want to have kind of like that brownie mauve color to my lips. So that's kind of sexy by MAC Cosmetics as well. And then another one here is this... Um, 
LA Splash Lip Control Liquid Lipstick. This is, of course, a liquid to matte lipstick, so this dries completely matte. Another lip option that I really love is the kind of gray, um, kind of gray, deep nude, corpsey kind of nudes. And um, yeah, I absolutely love this color. Um, as you can see, this one is a really gray, deep nude and again I like these are like my three main colors that I like to use with um, liquid with uh, liquid lips, with over drawing your lips these are like my favorite nude options so um, you can do it with like any of these honestly but the one I'm going to show today all the ones that I'm showing you today are affordable lip options so they're not high-end or anything so they're easier for you guys to get your hands on um, like I said, you can literally do this with any lipstick. I do this with every single lip color that I own. The color I will be using today is a kind of new one for me, but I really love this. This is, I'm sorry if you can hear the vacuum as well. I think my granddad's vacuuming. This is the NYX, Cos NYX Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in the shade Nude. I showed this in a recent haul of mine. This is a really nice um, peachy kind of nude color. Again, this will work better on lighter skin tones, but this is the color that I'm going to be using today for my nude lip option. So what you need to do is make sure your lips are completely kind of clear. I have a bit of foundation on my lips, which is completely fine. If you have very pigmented lips, you might want to do that anyway. Put some concealer on your lips and set them with a translucent powder so that um, the pigment from your lip color is not showing up. As you can see, these are my lips naturally. I have kind of thin lips. They're not super thin, but they're not full either. And as you can see, I have a very rounded top lip. I don't have a very prominent cupid's bow. So I like to kind of draw in a cupid's bow. I recommend you definitely follow your true lip shape. But if you're like me where you've got a very rounded lip, you can kind of get away with drawing a little bit of a cupid's bow. Just don't do anything too extreme. So now I'm going to kind of scooch in and show you how I overdraw my lips. So I showed you the lip liner. I'm going to be using the nude one first. I'll just tuck my hair behind my ears. Um, which is the Barry M lip liner and let's get started oh I also recommend to have a sharpened lip liner mine's a little bit blunt right now so I'm just going to sharpen it a bit the sharper the point the easier it is for you to draw sometimes I get lazy and I don't sharpen them all the time but it's a good idea to make sure that they're relatively sharp so what I'm going to do is first start on the bottom lip I'm going to go directly under my lip line here and do you get what I mean? <laughs> I'll just kind of show you. I, I'm kind of going to trace under the real lip line. Make sure around the edges that you stick to the real lip line because if you go outside the lip line really far on the edges, same with the top as well, it'll make you look like you have really weird duck lips. So you want to stay true to your lip shape on the edge but overdraw mainly the center parts of the lips. So I'll kind of show you. I've just got to have my mirror in front of me. So there you can see I've gone under the lip line here. You don't want to do a crazy big gap. You still want to follow your lip line, but just go a bit over the line. So say this is your lip line, you want to just go directly over it and not too far. So just directly over that lip line and then follow the actual lip line on the edges. Stretching your lips out too can also sometimes make it easier, so kind of doing this weird kind of face, it kind of flattens up all your lip creases and it makes it easier to overdraw and stuff like that. So as you can see, I've done the bottom lip line now. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, guys, because you can always go back in with a brush and some concealer to straighten up the edges afterwards if you feel you need to. So again, like I said, I've gone over the lip line a bit on the bottom, the middle section, and I've followed the line on the edges. I'm going to look a little bit crazy at first, but you'll see it come together in the end. And I'm going to go on to the top lip. First, I'm going to start with the cupid's bow. Like I said, I like to make a little X shape to kind of map out my cupid's bow. If you already have a really nice cupid's bow, follow that. Don't make sure you don't um, crazy make a new one. If you're like me where you don't have much of a cupid's bow, you're better off just kind of making a little one. Um, but it's going to look the most realistic if you follow your natural lip line. So what I like to do is, I can't talk, I'm doing so I'm explaining first. I just like to make a little X and I like to make a round cupid's bow. You don't want to do crazy triangle cupid's bows because that's going to make you look a little bit crazy and not natural. So just kind of see what I do, I guess. So 
So just like that, like like I said, you, you'll probably draw them first and they're not going to be even, so just kind of even out your cupid's bow. And now what we're going to do once you have your little cupid's bow here is you want to follow back down to the edges following the real, your actual lip line because again you don't want to have those kind of ducky kind of lips. I definitely recommend going in with a stroke kind of motion instead of drawing the line because that's when you find that you'll kind of go out the line. So just do little strokes and slowly fill it in. It's easier to add bits slowly than take stuff away. So this is the lips kind of overdrawn as you can kind of see. So now we're going to just leave the lip liner for now. What we're going to do afterwards is we're going to go in and do some shading on the outer edges to make the lips really pop and look three dimensional. Um, but now I'm going to go on my lipstick here, which like I said is the NYX one in Nude. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in with that line, kind of going over the line a bit too just to kind of blend it in. It's going to look still very harsh, but that's why we're going to go back in with the lip liner to kind of blend things out and make everything kind of seamless and make your lips look really pouty. So I'm just going to apply this on my lips. just like that. Like you can see there's still very harsh lines on the edges but now what we're going to do is blend that out. So just smack your lips together a bit like that and then what we're going to do is go back in with the lip liner and do some further shading. So the most shading you want to do is on the outer part of the edge to make depth. So just like that, see I made that shadow and then you just want to blend your lips together a bit. You might want to go over it a few times, it's up to you how deep you want it, but I'd make sure you recommend, I recommend you make sure you have a gradient edge, in, like instead of it looking dark and then light, you know what I mean? You need to make sure it ombres into each other. Just like that, so that's the outer edges deepened. Now I'm going to go over the Cupid's bow again just a little bit. So now you've done that bit of shading, we're going to go back in with the lipstick and further highlight the centre, just the centre of the lip. Make sure you're kind of doing this, you know, blending, slapping kind of motion just to make sure that everything's blending nicely together. And that is it for the nude lips. So like I said, just make sure you're kind of slapping your lips together and blending it out. With a liquid to matte lipstick, of course, you can't kind of do that. But with liquid to matte lipsticks, I don't tend to do this gradient effect. But when you're doing the shading, this really makes your lips look more natural. It makes them look even bigger as well and really, really pouty. I like to mainly shade my lips when I'm doing a nude lip or a very light color, like a baby pink or something. And yeah, it just makes your lips look really pouty. And it, to me, in my opinion, it looks quite natural. Um, so yeah, this is just the new lip option. This is like the most natural option that you'll have out of the bunch But I really really love this and I feel like the um, Coralness to this lipstick bring, make, brings life back to the lips, you know It makes your lips look really really juicy and pouty and just lovely I don't know it just I really love the nude lip option So yeah, this is how you do it if you guys have any further questions of course just make sure you kind of ask me um, down below and stuff and I'll make sure I respond. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward on how to do the nude lips This is the most complicated one out of the bunch But it's still pretty easy as long as you have a lip liner and a few different lipstick shades, then you're good to go Okay, so I just kind of removed the nude lip option off my lips and now we're going to talk about the purple lip option So again, like I said for my bright colored lips and like purple and pinks I like to use this lip liner which is the MUA Makeup Academy Intense Color Lip Liner in Brooding Plum. Um, this is an amazing brand. You can get this at Superdrug and it's super cheap. And also you can get Barry M at, I think you can get Barry M at Superdrug and Boots. I'm just sharpening the pencil a little bit. Um, and the cool thing with these ones is it comes with a built-in sharpener, which is pretty good. So again, this is Brooding Plum. 
I'll show you this one swatch. This is like I said, it's a mixture between like a pink and a purple and this just works with either one. I don't know why, it just works. And the liquid lipstick I'm going to be using is the MUA brand as well. This is the MUA Luxe London liquid lipstick in Kooky and this is a really dark um, vampy um, purple shade. So, of course, with the dark colours, you could use a deep red, a burgundy, black if you want. Um, if you are going to do, say, black lips, I recommend using, say, just a black pencil liner. But um, this works for me anyway. But, of course, like I said, you can get lip liners that match your lip options if you want. So, um, I'm just going to, again, do the same thing that I kind of did before. I'm just going to overdraw my lips exactly the same way. Um, make sure I'm keeping to my natural lip line on the outer edges and overdrawing on the bottom and at the top of the lip, which kind of gives you that pouty look. So just follow along, I guess. So again, um, like I said before, it doesn't matter if it's a bit less uh, messy. Um, of course, you can see kind of it's a bit rigid on the inner bits of the lips. As long as you s the lines are straight on the outside of your lips, it doesn't matter if it's a bit messy on the inside because, of course, we're going to be covering that up. So I just did the same pretty much as I did last time, but with a different lip pencil. So now I'm just going to go in with Kooky, which is a lip with li uh, liquid to matte lipstick. I can't talk today. <laughs> And I'm just going to fill in within the lines, again going over the lines a little bit to just blend it. And yeah, just keep on watching. If you feel like you've made any form of a boo-boo and the lines aren't straight, you can just go with concealer. Um, the LA Girl Pro Conceal is pretty good for this because it has a brush tip already so you can easily get on the edges of the lips. But um, yeah, that is that. I'm just making sure I didn't have lipstick on my teeth. But yeah, um, it's not completely dried and matte yet, but it will dry completely matte. So this is just the dark lipstick shade. With the liquid to matte lipsticks, when the darker the lip, the more you should definitely wear these because with a dark lip you don't want it to be smudged on your face especially if you're going out so I think with really dark lips liquid to matte lipsticks are a great option um, so yeah this is the look again if you have any questions just comment down below but it's pretty straightforward it's kind of the same with the nude option except you don't really have to do any shading I guess you could if you want but I feel like with a really dark lip you don't really need to do that so like I said before, I've now just gone over my lips again with some concealer because when I wipe them off, they kind of just like go everywhere. So now on to the pink option or the bright lip option, as I like to say. Again, I'm going to be using the same Brooding Pump Lip Pump Plum Lip Liner by MUA. And the lipstick I will be using today is the first time I'm using this, actually. This is a Milani um, Matte Lipstick in Diva, which is a really hot Barbie pink, a good dupe for this. Well. A high-end dupe for this would be um, Candy Yum Yum by MAC Cosmetics. So um, yeah, but this is just because I wanted to wear this today and um, yeah, you can do this with any hot pink lipstick, um, yeah, just anything that's really bright and fuchsia or really deep, you can use this lip liner for or any kind of purpley pink lip liner for. I hope I'm not confusing you with the whole lip liner thing. Um, if you want, like I said, you can get lip liners to match the lipsticks, but I just when you have like two shades like this that are really versatile you can use it with almost everything so again I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before just overdraw my lips focusing the overdrawing in the center of the lips and keeping it um, close to the lip line in the outer edge and then I'm just gonna apply the lipstick and yeah just kind of watch and see again it's pretty straightforward and it's just like the same as before
So this is the kind of bright lip option. As you can see, um, I've left the outer edges still quite dark. I think that also kind of makes your lips look more pouty and kind of like it's your real lip line. But again, just make sure you go over it with the point just to blend it a little bit so it's not too harsh and you don't have this lip line looking thing. But it's okay if it shows through a little bit. Um, I forgot to mention too, if you want them to blend really well and not to be a seam, you can just colour in your whole lips with the lip liners. And lip liners are generally very matte. Um, so this will really help make your lipstick stick and prolong. That's kind of what I do on days where I'm at work kind of thing. I fill in all of my lips with the lip liner and then go over it with a lipstick and it really makes the lipstick kind of glue down to it and not budge. So um, yeah, this is the bright lip option. Again, you can do this with any kind of pink lipstick, any bright color lipstick you want. Um, yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of like the same as last time. So that is it you guys for this video. I hope you kind of found this helpful in some way, shape or form. I know a lot of you guys were asking me to do a how to overdraw your lips video. So I hope I kind of delivered and wasn't too confusing because sometimes it's kind of like hard to like explain stuff while you're doing it. So I hope I kind of helped you guys out in overdrawing your lips. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or are confused or anything, just comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. But um, yeah, that's it really. There'll be links down below to previous videos, my social networking sites and my Etsy store. So be sure to check out the description bar and I'll also list the products that I use down below so you guys can, you know, check that out if you want. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic day.